Alright guys, I wanted to make a video showing how to make your own little battery pack for not a whole lot of money in order to bind your receivers for your helicopters, bind them out of the helicopter. Um, a lot of speed controllers have a BEC that outputs some voltage, but some of them don't have enough voltage to make one of these go into bind mode. Um, this one is dead right now, but it's simple to recharge. Okay, this is all you have to do. Get some cheap, uh, whatever brand you want, double A's or triple A's. Doesn't make a difference. Get a piece of wire about like this with the thick copper strands. You'll need those out of the inside. <clears throat> An old servo you probably have laying around. I know I had a bunch of them laying around that were broke or didn't work or something you need this piece right here with the with the connector for the receiver and optionally in order to charge this pack you need a like a JST connector with a little bit of wire length you can get that off something old. You can order a ton of these like I did from uh, the connectors themselves from Hobby King for like a couple dollars. These would be relatively, I mean basically free since you should already have servers laying around. And this wire is, I'm sure you got something laying around that you can use. You should. Alright, what you're going to do is take a little piece of the wire, get the right length you want. However long you feel you need it. Um, long enough to go between two of the battery terminals. I'm not going to show you the actual soldering part. It would take forever. Well, not forever, but a pretty long time. So you're going to run these in series. Because what you want to do is you want to increase your battery voltage. So if you run them in series, each one you run in series, you add the voltage on top of it. This is so roughly 1.2, 1.2, 1.2 times 5. So you're looking at about 6 volts fully charged. Um, it usually is around 5 point something volts, 5.4 or so with these NIMH batteries. With the 5 in series, you can use double A's or triple A's. I just had triple A's laying around. So what you do is you're going to run, you're going to keep one positive open. And all you're going to do, come to the back of that one. You're going to run to the negative off the first one to the positive of the next one. Back of that one. Negative off of that battery to the positive of the next one. Back of that battery. Negative to the positive. Back of that one. You guessed it. Negative to the positive. And then to the negative terminal. So the first battery you started with, you're going to use your positive off of that one. It's open. It wasn't connected to any other battery. And the last one you're going to use the negative off of that one, open not connected to the battery. So right here, you've run in series a little 5 cell pack of 1.2 volt and IMH batteries. Um, it works great for binding stuff. This pack's dead, I think it doesn't have enough power to even power this up right now. But what you do is, you're going to have your servo connector. So the, the positive on these is in the middle. It's the middle wire which is red, right in the middle. Brown is your negative, and it will be right next to the red. If you're looking from the top, it'll be to the right of the red. Now if you look on your receiver, this one's not labeled. Yeah, it, it will power it up, but I just don't have enough juice to the light. I need to recharge this back, this battery back. The reason you put this JST connector on here is if you have a smart charger or even a, a plug-in-the-wall charger off of some other model, just plug it in. These aren't very sensitive to charging. You can just amp it up and let it go. It charges really quick. Um, works pretty well for that. I've bound all of my receivers already using this pack. And it sat there for a long time. These NIMH batteries have like an amount of drain on them. They don't really sit for a long time with a charge. So 
and keep them charged up once in a while. They don't really go bad either though, so that's a good thing. And that would be it as far as that's concerned. This is just a Hobby King um, HK TR6A V2 receiver. Cheap, like six or seven bucks, I think. Binds with the uh, Turner G9X V2. And that's all you really need. Again, positive here, positive lead. Negative here. Both are negative leads on the same terminal. That's it. The orange one right here is not used at all. It's the last lead. You can just snip it. Hope you found this pretty useful. I know it's helped me. I uh, found like eight, eight receivers with that in my Turner G9X. So.